All right, where's Dent taking me now? Hopefully to uh, the promised land. But uh, I can't really promise that. Who's that guy? Hans? Mr. Wayne, I'd like to introduce you to Bob and Regina Zellerbach. Of course I know these two. <laughs> Hello, Bruce. Regina here is the chairwoman of Wayne Enterprises, and her husband voted for Mayor Hill last time. I'll admit it, Mr. Wayne. I don't know Mr. Dent from a pothole on Main Street, but I trust your family. If you believe in Dent, we believe in you. Right. After all, whoever you support is a reflection on you. And we trust someone like you to lead this city to greatness. Gotcha. Well, thank you. But we're all here tonight because we want to make a difference. And that's what it's going to take. Every single one of us. Not just me, not just Mr. Dent. Right. Everyone. Right, right. Of course. Old families like ours should flock together, you know. Like birds. No, I'll remember that. You're preaching, dear. No, it's true. The Waynes and Zellerbachs are reminders of the golden age of Gotham. Oh, this city's luster faded years ago, Mr. Dent. Look at Gotham now. Murder in the streets, corruption in City Hall, that Cape Bat freak dealing out vigilante justice like it's the wild goddamn West. Oh, Bobby, regarding golden age, seems you're getting cranky in yours. There's always hope. Forgive me for being blunt, but one man can't save this city. Oh, yeah, they and it's can. a dangerous mentality to think so. That's how you get creeps like this Batman. Well, I have to say I side with your wife on this, Mr. Zellerbach. That right, did it? Even a spark of hope can light the darkness. Oh, an idealist with a bank account. He'll be broke before election day. <laughs> and I know Bruce would gladly spend every penny he has to fix this city. Right. I don't doubt that for a moment. And don't worry, though. I am not doing this alone. And with Bruce's help, we're replacing the dangerously unsecure Arkham Asylum. Yes, we can. With a state-of-the-art mental health facility to help Gotham's most at-risk individuals. It will be dedicated to Thomas and Martha Wayne in the hopes that their fate will never be repeated. After all your parents did for this city, oh, uh. to be killed in a botched robbery in some alleyway, it was terrible. She said botched. Truly terrible. Yeah, and tragedy like that at such a young age it must have been crippling. If only that uh, deranged man had gotten the right treatment, maybe... Uh, well, I don't like to think about maybes. And I'm sure you don't either. Well, thank you. I wish my parents could be here speaking with you too. So do I. And thank you, Bruce, for investing in the health of this city's future. Right. You have our support, Mr. Dent. Go get him. We're on our way. Yeah, you can thank me, Dent, for that, because I, I talked him into it. <laughs> Not saying I doubted you, but that went better than expected. It is a night of ringing endorsements. Because I'm Bruce Wayne. Wait, what's going on? Some, someone's playing the chimes. Uh, oh, well, hello. Harvey Dent, Gotham's next mayor, and eager to know you. Vicki Vale. Not interested. And reporter for the Gotham Gazette. This is hello, a private hello, fundraiser, Miss Vale. No reporters allowed. Well, you don't mind if I stay and ask a few questions, do you, Mr. Wayne? Sure, why well, not? You can ask me whatever you want at the press conference tomorrow. No, no, it's all right. You can stay. Thanks. Bruce? This is quite the social event, Mr. Oh, Wayne. Oh, come on now. So formal. Call me Bruce. <laughs> well... <laughs> Bruce, you've been going around pleasing everyone tonight. But how are you doing? Uh. You should enjoy your own party before all the champagne runs out. I know what I like everyone to be doing. Everyone loves the host. You're king for a day. But I Just am. a day? Well, <laughs> I would have guessed Bruce Wayne has that feeling year-round. Yeah, well, I take nights and weekends off. <laughs> Mr. Wayne, you've, you've got something on your collar. Uh, no doubt. Um, is that blood? Uh, yeah. It looks like. Quick, Wayne, talk oh, yourself. This? No, it's nothing. It just uh, cut myself shaving. What? Your butler didn't help you this time? Oh. Hey, kidding, kidding. Do excuse me, Master Bruce, but uh, another guest arrived. I'm sure they'll find the bar. You may want to greet this one personally, sir. 
Who's that guy? Carmine Falcone? Is the Dent campaign soliciting votes from Gotham's biggest crime family? Falcone's never been convicted of anything, except being a businessman who loves this city. Uh... Excuse us, Miss Vale. Why do we have to go in privately? Vale can come with us. Uh, uh, Harvey, can we talk about it? And what kind of business do you think he's in? The one that controls enough votes to get me into City Hall. Fine. This is the necessary evil of politics, Bruce. It's in the service of a better Gotham, for all of us. Look, at least hear him out before you kick him out. Falcone requested to speak with you directly. I don't like this, Harv, but I'm trusting you. Thank you, Bruce. Seriously. You know I have to pull every string I can to get elected. All right. Yeah, well, just make sure this one doesn't hang you. A word of warning, Bruce? Play nice. No, come on now. You know, I've been in the market for a new house. Decent walk-up, sky-high ceilings, plenty of room for my cars. You wish. I think I'll take it. Though the decor offends my eyes. Oh, man, all flash, no class. My family built this house. It's not for sale. Smack in your face. Everything's for sale, Mr. Wayne. And everyone. No. Just need to find the right currency. Don't have one. Come on, Falcone. Thank you for welcoming me into your home. Oh, God, why is everybody looking at me awkwardly? I You're have to. A respectable man, I hear. I gotta refuse the handshake. It was an awkward moment. We were all having an awkward moment. Falcone will remember that. Good. Glad. Gentlemen, perhaps we'll all be more comfortable in the parlor. Follow me, if you will. Alfred, I mean, <laughs> Alfred, go away. Dad, I almost put you dead, didn't I? Uh, you should know, Mr. Falcone. My analysts say we're raising triple with Mayor Hill. Hey, what's... Private audience. Shut down. Oh, come on, guys. Bruce. You'll be fine out there, Harvey. I saw plenty of skirts to keep you busy for a few minutes. Oh. Harvey stays with us. A man's home is his castle. I respect that. Seen and not heard. Whatever you... Ah, ah, what did I say? Oh, he's telling the, maybe the new mayor what to do. That's not good. Mayor does what he's told. I don't think I have confidence in his vote now. Mr. District Attorney here wants to make sure the rules are followed. What? But in my experience, there's the law, and there's doing what's right. You understand? It's both, right? And I'd rather see Harvey actually help this city instead of just say he will. Unlike most people I've met, Harvey actually has integrity. He's trying to make Gotham a better place. So am I. So are you. Hey, we all carry this city on our broken backs. My Lighten the load if we do so together. Uh, I don't think so. And I don't trust you. Harvey will remember that. I ain't here to chinwag about politics, Mr. Wayne. Gives me indigestion. I got enough of that as is. So, let's talk relationship. Chalk this for me. Be a pal. Uh, only this time. But next time you demand orders... I'm bringing Batman. Uh, probably should okay, say that Okay, imagine. Aloud. This is me. And these are all my friends in Gotham. The businesses, restaurants, clubs, docks, unions, politicians. Dang. I make them all move. And I want to keep everything moving if Harvey gets elected. No. That's why I came here tonight to your lovely home. Hoping to make a new friend. One who can help Mr. Dent see the light. If need be. Between your businesses and mine, I bet we employ half the city. Oh, I'm everyone's friend. Which means you're really no one's. Pick a lane before you have a head-on collision. You kidding me? You listen to me, kid. I know somewhere inside that tuxedo you understand this situation. Uh... Money gets money. The risks, the alliances, the hidden costs. Your father knew which hands to shake. All right. 
and which to break. I think I'll have someone see you out. <laughs> okay. Okay. So that's how it's gonna be. Oh, it's definitely how it's gonna be. People don't say no to me. Not for long. I just did, didn't I? Alfred, my man! Master Bruce, your guests are leaving. Already? I recommend seeing them out. You wouldn't want to be rude. I was just getting... Oh, my God. Heed your butler's advice, kid. Oh, and I'm no longer interested in buying the house. The owner's a prick. And he's gonna get what's coming to him. Oh, I just got nailed with being a prick. You know what? It doesn't matter. Because today I will serve justice for all those criminals. And together we will all be the Batman. Actually, I'm the only Batman. I'm Batman. No one could be Batman but me. Oh dear lord, what's going on, Earthquake? Oh, am I going into the, my, 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 my bat cave? Bruce, it's okay. Bruce, don't dwell on the past. It will affect your future. You know that, we know that, we all know that. It's me. Uh, who you talking to? Oh god. AI! No! It's gonna take over the world, Bruce! You have no idea! That's kinda cool how I can change the screen. I made it purple, because purple looks cool. Episode 1. Hey, that's my job. No, maybe not. What is the episode 1? Realm of Shadows. Okay. I am a ninja, you know. My ninja training has paid off. Week in Gotham, folks. A string of home invasions rippled through the city's already crime-infested East End. Oh God, Where what is that? There's the tickets to the gun show. <laughs> News guy, quit it. I'm concentrating on on a moment right now. We're having a moment, meaning the tickets. Breaking news tonight: Five criminals are in custody this evening after a break-in at City Hall. The notorious Batman was on the scene, but failed to secure the stolen items. The Not all of them. Let's see what she was really after. Jay, I want to see more of the Catwoman. I think we were bonding there for a little bit. I, I believe we were bonding. Ooh, it's Codex. Not more Codexes. Oh, uh, God. News guy. I, oh. Alright, you guys can pause and read all this because I'm founder of Wade Enterprises. My parents. Dad was a physician, not a... I don't know. Faithful, patient. Come on! A new friend and best district attorney in Gotham City have, has seen in years. Exhibits, exhibit A, what's wrong with this city? Hill should have been thrown out of the... Uh, new criminal on the scene, tied to several recent break-ins. She's effective and doesn't leave many clues behind. He's a good, by-the-book cop in a department that doesn't trust Batman. He's recently trapped... The oh, hello. One of the... Between her and Catwoman, who would you guys choose? I would say... I would choose both. Why not? Ooh, 10 million people in Gotham? That's a lie. Arkham Asylum? Uh, we know what happens there. Uh, we don't care about that. News guy! You're interrupting me right now. That man's trying to concentrate right now. What is this? Gotham V. Alright, you guys can go ahead and read this. Gotham, District Attorney. Harvey Dent called upon the mayor's office to take a public stand against the... Blah, 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 blah. Police Lieutenant tapped into lead task force. Gotham Police Commissioner Peter... The, 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 Wayne Enterprise is funding Arkham Asylum replacement. The charitable arms of the... Yeah, let's check out the news gaff right now. But all the escapees highlight the rough, some would say right. inhumane conditions at the aging asylum. The latest, 44-year-old twin brother and sister Leon and Valerie Muldoon. All right, I'm, I'm bored with you, news guy. Authorities are asking that you not oh, approach probably and call police I got an idea. Nearly fell off a building for this? Uh, probably. But you met Catwoman, right? That's a plus. Oh God! My chair. Where have you been all my life? 
hanging out. That's why that was so important. Right, so I didn't mean to interrupt you, Bruce. Damn, oh, yeah. encrypted. No, you're encrypted, Bruce. Wayne Manor has seven bedrooms, two kitchens, a library, a gymnasium, a basketball court, and a movie theater. And yet I always find you here. In a dark, damp cave. A fighting crime, Alfred. In front of a computer. Come on. I'm more at home here than the rest of the house, you know that. Then we should build an eighth bedroom down here. Sure, I can see the headlines now. Bruce Wayne, billionaire, entrepreneur, cave dweller. Quite an eclectic resume. Did you find out what that, um, cat woman tried to steal? Well, in the process. What are we looking at? Let me try a different angle. That's what she said. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, God, hologram. Batman, you have, uh, I mean, Bruce, you have, uh, upgraded since the last time we've met. Which was never so, uh, yeah. This is a map of the east side shoreline. Could mean any number of things. Money, weapons, drugs, everything flows through that port. Maybe it's where Mayor Hill picks up his dry cleaning. Oh. Hmm. Can't make sense of it yet. Alfred gets his mouth. Still plenty of files to decrypt. And in the meantime, I saved you what I could. Thanks, Al. Yeah, the same couldn't be said for the bar. I had to literally pry Mrs. Zeller back away. But you'll be <laughs> pleased to hear everyone has left, including Mr. Falcone. Before the game switched from billiards to cutthroat. What about Vicky? I'd recommend leaving the fist fights to your alter ego. Bloodstains are much harder to remove from a tuxedo. Yeah, thanks for the interruption. <laughs> well, it wasn't for you, Bruce. I was worried I might drink all my good scotch. For the record, your father despised men like Falcone, thought they ruined Gotham's stellar reputation. Back when it still had one? It can again, Bruce. Though people like this Catwoman aren't helping. Is she new to town? I've never seen her before. Hopefully she's just a tourist. No. No, I already checked the codex. Not much to find, apparently. A few burglaries, break-ins... Seems to lay pretty low. You could learn a thing or two from her. Oh. You can't step outside without it ending up in the news lately. As Bruce or Batman. I stay out of sight when I need to. Define need to. Well, whenever Harvey calls, the guy's exhausting. Well, after the press conference tomorrow, I'll mark your calendar as exhausted, then. The media isn't good for anyone's health. I don't mean to beat a dead argument, but... No one's gonna figure it out now, trust me. Miss Vale noticed your injuries, so did Mr. Dent. If they put it together with the incident at the mayor's office, it would undo all the long nights and close calls we've endured to get here. You're Nothing. in the spotlight more than ever. You have to be careful. You're right, you're right. I should have cancelled the event. Well, I know how much pressure you're under. I don't mean to add to it. It's okay. I, I know you're only looking out for me. If we make a suit that fits me, we can trade places some night. Though I'm not partial to heights. Uh, old men worry, that's all. It's our gift and our curse. One more worry for the list. Fine, I'll take it. You, business card. Why would I want that? Oh. I thought I saw Oz. It's been, what, 20 years? Six in the morning. We were in grade school. Indeed. You two were thick as thieves. Oswald, however, took that role more literally than you. Dishonorable discharge, illegal boxing matches, arms dealing, prison stents? That's a criminal grand slam. If I'm using the expression correctly. Unfortunately, you are. Oswald claimed he only wanted to catch up, but his behavior following his family's collapse is troubling. Why he's returning now, I... haven't the faintest idea. Do you think he might know something about the break-in? This Catwoman shows up around the same time Oswald comes back to town. 
Might not be a coincidence. Oswald's crimes, numerous they may be, are on a much smaller scale than robbing City Hall. Well, he was always trouble growing up, but <laughs> it's the fun kind of trouble. <laughs> you both were. Even though you and young Master Cobblepot used to be close, I'd advise you to be cautious. Penguin! But I know you can't abandon a good mystery until it's solved. Maybe I'll be not. careful, Alfred. When you see what's become of his park, I think you will. So what's wrong with the park? What kind of inside joke are you hiding from me? The one that got away. That was Catwoman. I know. I'm, I'm kind of sad still. My heart's broke. Oh god, what is this place? Uh, homeless guys. I could probably get these guys out of trouble, but uh, all they want to do is buy booze and alcohol, and I'm like, you know what? We're not, we're not having this. Oh god, Cobble Pot Park, huh? Alright. Where are you, Oz? Everywhere. Like Jesus. 